Good evening everyone and welcome back to another 7 o'clock bedtime stories. As always, I have some hellos to say today. So hello Harvey and hello Joshua, hello Ethan and hello Jacob too. Hello Sophia and hello Holly, hello April and hello everyone. And a very big special hello today to Joey and Jamie, because when they saw me in the school playground, they were very shocked because they've been watching the bedtime stories and I've been saying hello to them some days, but then they saw me in real life and they'd never seen me in real life before. So they were like, oh, this is wood. So hello, big hello to them. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you're watching again tonight. So, that's not the end of my fantastic day. Sorry, I can just see the camera slipping here. That is not the end of my fantastic day because when I got to school, I was presented with a mysterious envelope. And inside that envelope was a special letter. A letter that read, thank you on the front in these sparkly pens. Don't know if you can see that very well. And when I opened it, it gave me such a big surprise. Look at this. Oh! <laughs> Blossoming flower. I'm going to show you again. Ready? Ah, isn't that so clever and special? And it was a special message. It says to Mrs. Wood, thank you for the bedtime stories from Prashemic. Thank you so much, Prashemic. I hope you're watching this video tonight. And he also put in the envelope for me this certificate. It says, well done, certificate for Mrs. Wood for the best bedtime stories in the world from Prashemic and Olivia. What gorgeous handwriting prashemic has got. And that really, really made me feel very special. Thank you very much. And that was not the only special thing I got today. But I also was given this beautiful picture by Millie, which says to Mrs. Wood, I miss you so much from Millie. That is really gorgeous. I love this rainbow that she's done there. And she left me teas which I'm going to eat a little bit later after my dinner. Thank you very much Millie and I can see the camera's going to go again. Hold on, can I fix it? Don't want to have another day where the camera falls on the floor. That's happened before. So that was really kind and another kind thing that happened today is that William and James left me a bag of books at school. That was fantastic and really exciting for me because that means I get to read them to you guys and I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. Sorry, it's still slipping. I don't know why it's doing that today, but it is. Now, yesterday I asked you to vote for the story that you would like me to read tonight and you've chosen this one. Why Giraffe Has a Long Neck. And this is belongs to Ethan and Jacob. They let me borrow it. So let's go and have a find out why does giraffe have a long neck? Get nice and comfy ready for our story. I'll just move the camera slightly and let's just hope it doesn't fall on the floor. <laughs> okay. Jumbo giraffe have a mango. They are mango-licious. You see, there was a time when giraffe had a short neck and short legs short horns and a very stumpy neck. She was also a very fussy eater. Oh, let me just try and get that into a bit of a light. What's the problem, giraffe? Asked Tick Bird. I've got a funny tummy. I've eaten too many mangoes, I think, said giraffe. Ooh. The other animals tried to help. Why don't you try eating some lettuce, they said. Or eat some grass, said the hippo. It does wonders for upset tummies. Honey, that's what you need, said the lion. Go straight to the bees and ask them for some honey. <gasps> honey? I will go straight to the bees and ask them for some honey. Thank you, everyone. On the way to the bees, Giraffe met Chameleon. Hi, Giraffe. Jumbo. That's how they say hello in Swahili. Jumbo. Why the sad face? Well, I've got a spot of tummy trouble, he said. And Lion thought a bit of honey might make it go away. 
<laughs> this is funny, this part. The honey is inside the tree, buzzed the bees. Help yourself and I hope you feel better. And then the bees buzzed off. And you can see all of these bees here. They're all forming together to make an arrow point to the honey. That's clever, isn't it? All right, hold on. Bear with me one more second. <laughs> I have to just try, try and fix this. It's just going all... This is full, trying to fall out, out again. And I don't know why. Why is it doing this today? It's not done that before. Okay. Sorry, guys. Let's find out the next bit. Wow, free honey. What are we waiting for? Push your head inside that hole and get some honey right now. So Giraffe pushed her head inside the tree and she found lots of honey. <sniffs> that was delicious, she said. Yum, yum. Oh, I wonder if you like honey. I do. Chameleon, is my tummy rumbling? Called the giraffe from inside the tree. No tummy rumbles to report shouted the chameleon. Oh, that's good. It's made his tummy better. I'm coming out now, chameleon, said the giraffe. <gasps> uh oh, my head is stuck, he said. She said, sorry. Uh oh, how on earth will she get out? I can't seem to get my head out of this tree, called the giraffe. But don't worry, it'll be all right because there's lots of yummy honey in here. But you can't stay in there, giraffe, said the chameleon. I'm going to ask for some help. The night came and giraffe slurped and slurped and slurped and slurped. Yummy, yum, yum. Then morning came and giraffe slurped and slurped some more. You see what I'm saying, said chameleon. Giraffe is stuck inside this tree. There's the chameleon telling everybody about what's happened. And there is the giraffe stuck inside the tree, still slurping away. May I have a suggestion, your majesty, said the tortoise. May I suggest we pull the giraffe out by her legs. Do you think that's going to work? <laughs> so they pulled and they pulled and they pulled. Look at giraffe's legs, said Hippo. They've gone all long. Your Majesty, may I suggest we stop pulling giraffe's legs now, said the tortoise. Oh no, <laughs> they're really long, aren't they? Don't worry, giraffe, shouted the lion. We will get you out of there. How are they going to get her out of there? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what is happening. It must be slipping and slipping and slipping and slipping every single time. Sorry. Right. Back to the story. Hopefully this is going to work. Don't worry, giraffe, shouted the lion. We will get you out of there. Well, it looks like you and me will be here for quite some time, said Chameleon. I know. Let's play a game. It's called I Went to the Jungle. I went to the jungle and I found a mango. Have you ever played this game before? I found a mango. Oh, I love this game, said Giraffe. I went to the jungle and I found a mango and a big yellow stone. Do you know this one now? I went to the jungle and I found a mango and a big yellow stone and a spotty caterpillar. I went to the jungle and I found a mango and a yellow stone and a spotty caterpillar and some nuts. Oh, they're just finding time, ways to pass the time because they've been stuck in there for such a long time now. And while they were playing, giraffe's tree grew taller. The leaves turned brown and autumn came. The animals were still wondering what to do. Hmm, an ostrich egg, a coconut, a flamingo feather, and then Monkey had an idea. I know, let's pull the tree off giraffe. 
Why not, said Tortoise. We haven't got another plan. So they pulled and they pulled and they pulled. Stop, stop. Giraffe's neck is stretching. Oh, is this how he gets his long neck, I wonder? Don't worry, called Lion. We will get you out of there, Giraffe. And can you see how long Giraffe's neck is now? Here we go again, sighed Chameleon. I went into the jungle and I found... Mm, what did he find? And while they were playing, Giraffe's tree grew even taller. All of its leaves dropped off and winter came. An orange and a mushroom. Giraffe, are you all right? asked Tick Bird. Oh, I'm fine, Chameleons. Chameleons been keeping me company and we've been having a lovely time. <laughs> they kept on playing and Giraffe's tree grew even taller. New leaves appeared and spring came. An empty seed pod and a prickly pear. Hmm, still playing the game. Oh my goodness, look how long Giraffe's neck is now, said the tortoise. Giraffe, are you still up there? Are you all right? Well, actually, said Giraffe, I am actually getting a bit bored now because I've run out of honey. Giraffe, said Chameleon, you've got to try pulling yourself one more time. Don't you think you can do it? asked Giraffe. Well, you have changed quite a bit now, replied Chameleon. Okay, said the Giraffe, here I go. And tall, thin Giraffe pulled herself out of the tree. Bop! I'm out! I'm out! I'm free! She said. <laughs> Did you see what I mean? <laughs> Did you see what I mean? I knew that that might happen today, and I didn't know why it was happening, but it happened. Sorry to interrupt the story. Oh no. <sighs> Back to the story. <laughs> Back to the story. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. I'm free, she said. Oh, you are such a long way away. That's because you are now so tall, called the hippo from down below. Whoop. Very tall. <laughs> well, I'm not sure I have, I have a head for height, said Giraffe. How long have I been up here? Three whole seasons and the height of this tree, replied the chameleon. And with her new long neck, Giraffe found her very own food right at the top of the tree that no other animal could reach. Mmm, yummy, fresh new leaves, <sniffs> delicious. And no more tummy trouble, she said. <laughs> so that's why a giraffe has a long neck. She stretched and she stretched inside the tree. And now her head almost touches <gasps> the clouds. <laughs> I'm not sure a giraffe's head really does touch the clouds. Maybe that is why, though, a giraffe does have a long neck. What do you think? Thank you, Ethan and Jacob. That was a good story. Now, tonight's choices that are going on Twitter are this one. Hold tight. That's from Holly and April, who lent that, that one to us. So thank you very much. And this one from James and William that came from the bag that I received today. I wish I had duck feet, which I have never heard of before. So that looks like a fun one as well. I'll put them both up on Twitter. Get voting for the one you'd like to hear tomorrow and I will see you then. Bye everyone.